Who wants to know some secrets to a better smile? I do. Well, we have Di Dennis Dr. Sacco here, and he's gonna spill the beans on, uh, you know, a better smile, beautiful teeth. Simple tips, though, you're saying. Yeah, a few tips. Um, easy, uh, easy enough to remember. Um, Tip number one. So we all know that candy causes cavities, but did you know that carbs can be worse sometimes? Uh, sticky carbs like breads, pastas, rice, things like that. Um, bacteria tend to eat sugar, convert that to acid, and that can actually cause cavities. So sticky things like this will stick between your teeth a lot more than sugar sometimes. Like so you're candy. talking about the, like a really sticky carb that's just gonna get right in between your teeth and hang out there for a couple Potatoes, hours. Potatoes, crackers, we've all had that pretzel at the amusement park, that doughy pretzel that oh. sticks to your teeth. So while you're on those roller coasters having a good time, bacteria's having a great time in your mouth eating away all that <laughs> carbs. Number two. Number two. Cavities are contagious. Oh. What? Yeah, yeah. Did we know that cavities uh, are one of the top most contagious diseases in America, actually? So you could actually get cavities from kissing. Not, and it's not like you're gonna kiss someone and instantly you get a cavity. No, There's no, a little more to I mean, it. No, but just like the, uh, the common cold or a flu virus, you could transfer that to person to person. So there's certain kinds of bacteria that cause cavities. Uh, mothers can actually transfer bacteria that causes cavities to their babies. Uh, whenever they test the temperature of food sometimes, moms will do that and then pass it on their babies. So you could actually be prematurely transferring those bacteria Pile to that babies. on the guilt mountain. Sorry, wow. but that's, that's tip number three. Okay. Tip number three, uh, oh. relax and do some yoga. So a lot of my patients tend to clench and grind their teeth at night in their sleep, and that could cause a lot of chips and cracks in their teeth. This is usually due to stresses. For some reason, our bodies like to kind of you know, clench and grind while we're sleeping, all that uh, work time stress, the relationship stresses, things like that. So one of the most common recommendations I have for my patients is do a little bit of yoga before bed. Release some of that anxiety, whatever it is, you'll sleep better, you'll wake up more energetic. And uh, at the end of the day, when it comes to your physical health and your oral health, prevention is always key. Absolutely. Thank you Absolutely. so much for being here.